Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okay, so now we continue with chapter 2, lines and angles. Okay, uh, so first topic, lines and angles. In chapter 1, a line contains an infinite number of points. It has length but no width or height. A line is named by a single lowercase letter or by any two points on the line. The common notation for line is a, B. Okay, so this is common notation for line. Okay, kat mana, eh, di mana awak boleh tulis uh, dengan huruf besar A, B and then letak satu dash dekat atas. Okay, so this figure, uh, dia melambangkan satu line. So, dia sambungkan uh, two points which are A and B. So, the relationship of line and angle will be further introduced in this chapter. The angle can be defined as having two rays or two line segment meet at the same end point. An angle is formed between these rays. The common end point is called the vertex. The symbol for angle is... Okay, so you can see here, this is the symbol of angle. There are few ways to... To name an angle Okay So ada beberapa cara Untuk kita namakan angle Okay Kita tengok one by one Okay For A With vertex letter So maksudnya Awak boleh lambangkan dia Dengan menggunakan Satu huruf besar Okay So kita letakkan Simbol angle di depan So this one is Angle A Okay So this one is angle A Okay Next we also can Err uh, Write the angle with small letter near the angle. Okay, so notation this one, B. Okay, ataupun awak gunakan satu huruf kecil B. So, kita boleh letakkan dekat uh, di sebelah angle. Okay, next with three capital letters, the vertex letter must lie in between of other two. So, kita letakkan vertex di tengah antara dua line kat sini so vertex ni akan membentuk angle so this one kita boleh kata angle a b c o c b a okay this one for uh, third angle okay then last one the symbol of measure of angle angle a is m angle a okay katakan angle tu ada nilai ataupun ukuran Okay, so kita letakkan nilai uh, M di hadapan angle. Okay, for example, if you if we know that this angle is B equals to 60 degree, so it means that the notation, uh, this one we can write as M angle B is equals to 60. So, maksudnya bila diletak nilai M, maksudnya angle tu akan ada satu value. Okay, same with this one. Uh, if you have angle A, B, C which is 50 degree. So, you can write the notation M angle A, B, C is equals to 50 degree. Okay, so this is for angle. Okay, next type of angle okay this one uh, we have six type of angle okay saya so, rasa so, yang ni pun awak dah familiar okay first acute angle an angle that measure less than 90 degree so this is the figure maksudnya angle ni kurang daripada 90 darjah ataupun between 0 to 90 degree so this one we call an acute angle Okay, next we have right angle, an angle that measures 90 degree. So, angle yang bersudut 90 darjah, okay, this one. So, this one we call right angle. Okay, next is obtuse angle, an angle that measures more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. Maksudnya, angle tu antara nilai 90 hingga 180. Okay, so this one. Okay, so between 90 to 180. Maknanya dia tak lebih 180 tapi dia tak kurang daripada 90 darjah. So, this one we call an obtuse angle. Okay, next we also have this one, a straight angle. Okay, straight angle, an angle that 
measures 180 degree. Okey, maksudnya angle yang bersudut 180 darjah. So this one we call a straight angle. Okey, next we have reflex angle. An angle that measures more than 180 and less than 360. Okey, maksudnya angle tu antara 180 hingga 360. So we call reflex angle and then last one is full angle full angle and angle that measures 360 degree okay 360 degree so awak boleh kita boleh simplify kat sini you have acute angle right angle obtuse angle straight angle reflex angle and full angle. So it means that we have six types of angle. Okay, then uh, next one is basic angle principles. Okay, this one basic angle principles say that all right angles are congruent. So kita dah tengok uh, sebelum ni untuk topik introduction apa maksud congruent. Congruent adalah same size and same measure ataupun sama size sama ukuran sama bentuk. Okey, so semua right angle maknanya bila kita sebut right angle, it means that we know that right angle is angle equals to 90 degree. Okey, so bila kita sebut right angle tu kita dah automatik tahu yang angle tu bernilai 90 darjah. So this one All right angles are congruent. Maksudnya angle A congruent dengan angle B. Okay, same with this one. All straight angles are congruent. Okay, straight angles juga congruent. So it means that this one angle A is equal is congruent with angle B. Sebab apa kita kata uh, right angle and straight angles? Sebab kita tahu nilai right angle and straight angles dia memang tetap. So right angles bila saya sebut right angles we know that the angle is 90 degree kalau saya sebut straight angles kita tahu dia adalah 180 degree tapi kalau saya sebut acute angle, so acute angle dia mungkin zero, uh, mungkin 20 degree, mungkin 30 degree uh, so that's why dia tak boleh guna basic angle principles so basic angle principle just for uh, right angle and straight angle